Hello there, I am Izzy Noodles and again we are beginning a new walkthrough. I believe it's pronounced Pacamama, not 100% certain though. And I've separated level 1 into two videos as it's a bit longer than level 2, plus the game can be quite tricky. So it just makes it e easier on my mental state. <laughs> Um, also, in terms of nomads, I always like to do nomads where possible. Um, I've not had too much chance to practice the game as a whole yet. But level 1, the entirety of level 1, can be done without using med packs. I just need to give level 2 a bit more of practice before I can confirm whether this is a nomad walkthrough. Also, just to add, in Inken mythology, Pakamama is a Mother Earth goddess, so that's just a little insight into our adventure here. So let's begin. So somewhere in the Aguena jungle. Okay, so it's sliding down. We land in the water, so you'll want to just get out, make sure you don't drown. And as you look around, we can kind of, if you see on the left side of the screen, there's some ladders and monkey bars. And as you're looking around, you can see some things to climb on. But where do we begin? That is the question. So you just need to look for this tree just over in this corner. This is our starting point. So you can just hop up to here if you're having some trouble with that jump. You can actually just climb straight on up this ledge here. So just quickly turning around for some shotgun shells. Ooh, okay, climb back up. So careful of the ceiling as well. We do have some low hanging rocks. And this next jump can be kind of tricky because of the low hanging rocks. We actually need to veer over to the, well, if you direct yourself a little more to the left, but then veer around to the right, you'll miss the, uh, the rock just there. And here we kind of have a tile that looks a little bit suspicious. It's actually hard to tell which one is the suspicious one, but they don't look quite right side by side. So this one in front of me, this is, not a movable block. We are going to find a lever to remove this and this is the way we will be heading. So for now just continue around so we can get, grab this and shimmy along. Okay, here we go, a simple jump over to here. Grab the monkey bars and continue. And you can kind of just see there as I turned that corner, there's a ladder going up right here on my left side. So we have a new move to be able to get up there. First, I'm just gonna grab a, another pickup of shotgun shells and all the shotgun shells are actually wide shot those are the only pickups you collect okay so again just hop back over okay so new move to be able to grab the ladder from a monkey bar so come all the way forward to the edge and press down and there we go so here it doesn't matter which way around you go I'm just gonna take a right come around this way and we have an invisible wall forcing us to go around the tree trunk we can't go under the tree be very careful because some of the plants can push you off the edge they are kind of annoying and right here here is our shotgun this is actually an important pickup Kind of booby trapped in a way. So there we can see a rock has moved away from a lever. So we can now pull the lever. And being very careful here, you might want to walk in some places, but this tree here forces you to drop down and shimmy around it. Okay, 
Okay, continue. And as I said, do be careful. I got pushed, I think, there, unless that was just me being a fumble fingers. And here is the lever. So levers can blend in very well. You see, it looks like bones. That's kind of cool. But take a good look for levers. Okay, and an underwater passage has opened up. So before dropping down, there is just one more pickup of shotgun shells. So right over here, careful with your jumps. And from here, we can just drop straight on down, land in the water, and directly in front of us is the passage we've just opened up. So it seems like a maze. It's not take a left, the right is an immediate dead end. So two passages just here, doesn't matter which one you go to, well technically it does because you want to come to this first one to pull this underwater ceiling lever, if you can manage to grab it, having some trouble just there. There we go and that's opened up that block. Now in the other passage there's just some flares. Or some stuff. Okay, and now just head back over to the entrance that we've just opened up. Okay, so again, careful with this jump from here. So make sure you kind of face left just a little bit and then veer around to the right. Here we go. So again, a lot of dark areas in this level and sometimes flares are helpful to find stuff. Sometimes the binoculars are helpful to find stuff. In this case, I recommend you use your binoculars a lot throughout the game because it points out the suspicious blocks that are in the wall. So sometimes they do not stand out at all. This blends in very well. So I'm going to pull this block out and put it onto that odd tile. So that tile actually looks like it's going to raise up, but it's not. It's just uh, the marker for a, a tile to place the block onto. And I will just equip my shotgun. So I'm going to choose my wide shot. Don't forget to swap your ammo. There we go. And I'm tempted just to have a save because this first video, you can do it without taking any damage whatsoever. But of course, sometimes you might just take a little hit. So I'm gonna do my best for a Nomad walkthrough. We'll see how level two goes. Okay, and once you've pulled this out because of the flooring, you'll have to just come around and pull it this way. Okay, that's opened the door and we have two natives. And they can really charge at you. They are faster than Lara moves. So it's good to keep jumping over them. There we go, no health loss yet. Okay, so as we come on through, you can hear the pitter patter below this bridge that I'm on. We can hear the pitter patter of a big old spider, you can't see it very well because it knows, it knows I'm here looking for it. But we need to go down there. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. So I kind of just want to drop in the, um, the best place. Ooh, you missed so just jump in a box like so to try and minimize any damage cool cool we're still winning and down here very sneaky behind this cobweb is a lever 
So you can see how well that blends in. They all blend in really well. So keep an eye out. Okay, so that has opened this door and we can proceed on through. So grabbing the shotguns along the way. And if I come right around this corner, what we need to look for is this jump switch. So this is actually a very dark corner without a flare. So just grab this and immediately hop left. We're jumping left. There we go. Because we have a wraith after us, after pulling the lever, a fire wraith. So what the lever did, the jump lever, it opened up this underwater opening and we now have a revolver. Once you've got that, you can climb on out. Okay, so now some jumps to be made across here. There's a car honking their horn outside, can you not? <laughs> Um, okay, so jumps across here. The first jump is pretty easy. Just make sure you grab the edge and shimmy it all the way to this right hand side. And the reason for that is once you hop backwards, we can grab this. So you can see this one is actually sloped. So you'll have to be on this side to be able to grab this. So now these jumps are pretty darn tricky. The last block to jump from so you can't quite tell from here, but there is a gap in the wall to grab. You have to jump at the very end of the slope, but it doesn't quite work out if you just, as I did, grab the edge and hop backwards from there. That doesn't work. This is a very tough jump, so I highly recommend a save so you don't have to keep climbing back up if you miss. Okay. Oh, got it in one. Nice. So that usually takes me quite a few attempts. So there are some very tricky jumps in this level set. Okay, so after shimmying around, we can see we now have a laser sight. So that's kind of a hint. We've just picked up a revolver and a laser sight. So nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We need these. We are going to do something with these. So very precarious jump as well over to this wall. And then just shimmy all the way along. So we can see an odd tile as we're approaching. So this is where we're going to drop down to. Okay, so this is not a push block. And we can see there's kind of a, a suspicious root hanging out of the wall just there and a, an opening over in the far wall. But we can't grab that root. What we need to do, if you can hear, There's kind of a creaking noise. So that is what that is. And that's why we need the, that's what we need the revolver and the laser sight for. So I do recommend you don't necessarily use your revolver as a weapon. There aren't too many pickups for the ammo for this. And there's often some of these we need to shoot, not so much in this level one, but level two has more. So we're gonna shoot that. And here we go, the, by magic, the block we were on, on, we weren't even on it, we're on it now, but the block has come out of the wall. We are magically on top of it. <laughs> but that has allowed us to be able to reach this route. Jump off, there we go. She wouldn't jump. <laughs> Okay, now we're through another spot where I highly recommend a save. So here, you kind of just need to uh, run for it. You see these uh, tiles with skulls? There's a few of these in the area. These are spike traps. 
do be careful. Got a bit of a boulder run. I kind of veered out of control just there. So if you are careful, <laughs> you can jump up to here. It's kind of tricky to do so. I've had the practice. I made it look easy. It can be tricky to jump up to here. But here we can see some torches. So this is our next objective. So this is a very sneaky block we can push. Okay, so just we can climb over this for a secret. And then just through into this crawl space. We have this very fancy jar. Okay, so once you have that, you can push the block yet again. And on the left side is a lever. So you see, just standing here, would you be able to see that lever? But anyway, go ahead and pull this lever. And as though turning on a light bulb, we have a flame right here. So if you pulled the lever first, you can actually pull the block back and then get the secret. So it doesn't matter what order you do that in. But now we can grab one of these torches and light it right here. Okay, so what is the situation? Well, being careful of any uh, spike tiles, we need to find three wall torches in order to open that gate at the end. So we're kind of trapped in this valley section. Not technically trapped, we can leave back out the way we came. But of course we don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to go back on ourselves. So first, wall torch is right over in the corner where we entered. So just hop up to here and then hop to here. Here we go. Cool, cool. Second one is probably the easiest to find. Whoa. Didn't mean to actually run straight onto this, but hey, we're up here, so you can alternatively jump onto this, make sure, whoops, <laughs> I wanted to look, uh, make sure not to like jump too close to the spikes. Okay, and right behind this bush is the next wall torch. Okay, last one is right at the end at the gate. And this is the trickiest one. Maybe the easiest to see, actually, but the trickiest one to try and get to. It's like right up there. I find it very difficult to turn just a little bit when you have a torch in your hand. So recommending a save so you don't have to keep climbing back up once you miss. If you miss, I'm going to miss. See? Ah, oh, there we go. Second time to charm. So that actually, it really is very difficult to jump over to here. It's a very tight jump and that's what makes this level pretty difficult. <laughs> Lots of tricky jumps. Okay, so this in front of me is not a ladder, so you'll just have to hop into the opening. And this flyby is showing us some intriguing things. So by the shotgun shells is actually a block we can push, believe it or not. That's another block in the corner that it just moved away from really quick. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so basically we have to climb to the top of the room. <laughs> So gonna equip my shotgun. Cause we'll have a spider right around the corner. Ooh. It missed and I don't know how it missed. I thought that was gonna get me for sure. So grabbing some more shotgun shells and as I've mentioned, this is a block. So just push this, you'll see it with your binoculars. So this is why it's very good to just use your binoculars. Um, in terms of flares, I think you get quite a few, but well, we've got 14. I think we'll end up getting a good amount. But pull this lever, this, there we go, that's the exit right at the top of the room, that's opened the gate so we can leave. So if you've actually uh, come, well if you've gone all the way up and forgot to pull this lever, bummer, <laughs> not so good, you'll have to come all the way back down to climb all the way back up. So now I'm just going to grab my pistols. We've got a spider across the way. The best place to be to deal with this is just in this gap. Just here. Because the spider can keep disappearing around the side of the wall. It's not doing so today though. Okay. And the easiest way out is probably just to jump over to here because you don't have much room to do a running jump. There will be another spider. I recommend you deal with it straight away. So just by the shotgun shells here you can see the ground looks a bit different. This is going to raise up so that we can climb the ladder up there. So as we're doing our jumps and we're on this high block, the spider, once you've triggered it, you trigger it by hovering over a tile. You don't need to be on the tile, just hover. Um, yeah, and it's just gonna push you off, so I highly recommend you deal with it. So this sloped tile will trigger that. Okay, so from the slope we cannot reach the ladder and also as I've said we also need to raise up a block anyway. So for now we'll have to find what we need to be doing. So as I mentioned, this is a movable block so just pull this out two places so that we can get behind it. Okay, so it seemingly there is not a lot here, but if we just turn around and look up, we have a jump switch. Awesome stuff. That has raised up the block. And now just to get to the ladder so we can reach the roots from the block now, but you'll just need to take one step back to be able to grab the first root. There we go. And as we make our way to the ladder, you'd spawn the spider if you didn't already do that. And as we shimmy along, make sure Laura's feet are on the second rung up from these smaller ladder sections, otherwise she will just let go. You need to be just a bit higher than that lowest rung. Okay, and at the end, just flip back and you'll land. Oh, I didn't mean to hop back. <laughs> you'll land straight on here. Okay, so now head to the ladder and climb on up and you'll be able to grab the monkey bars that are up above. So there is a secret to grab as well before we leave. So you can either just leave from here or go for the secret. So if you want the secret, what I'm gonna do 
is just come over here onto this tile section. We've triggered an enemy, so I'm gonna go back to a safe place so that I can shoot him. So I'm gonna land on the tile just here, but to do that we'll have to just press down to come up to the ladder. But that lines us up here. If you don't do that, you'll just plummet and die. So then just go ahead and shoot the native. He often actually just falls straight down to the ground floor. Yeah, there he goes. He's off. You plonker. He's alright though. He's okay. <laughs> okay, and so then just hop over here and we have a secret along with some shotgun shells right at the end. So once you've picked up the secret as well, we'll have another native. I'm just gonna run straight on out of here. That was a very precarious jump. Maybe be careful yourself if you are playing. <laughs> I could have totally just jumped off the edge. So anyway, he doesn't follow, so that's fine. And now let's just leave out of here. So just back to the ladder because we can't jump to that other flat tile where I was. Okay, make your way along the monkey bars and then just down to come up okay and we can see the uh, the ledge right in front of the screen there so you can just hop back there we go so now we have this reed valley i believe it's called and we have some awesome music we do have a chance to grab another met uh, another secret i mean but because this music is so amazing I'm not going to grab it straight away because we'll cancel out the music, which is just annoying when that happens. Uh, but anyway, in this valley section, we need to find two levers. One will remove the bars, the other will remove the block behind the bars, and we can proceed on. So our starting point is we need to jump over to here. So this is actually kind of tricky because we've got a slope just behind me to my right. Kind of messes up your jumps a bit. So these jumps can be tricky to make as well. So just here where we have our first flat spot we have a sneaky block to push. Okay, and go ahead pull the first lever and that block has been removed right so looking for the next lever careful here with your jump Okay, and we have a banana jump here. Not too tricky because we have a slope in front of us instead of just a vertical wall. Recommending a save anyway, just in case you don't make it, you'll have to come all the way back around. Whoa, okay, so no, I did not make it. <laughs> I guess I was trying too hard to curve around. There we go. Awesome stuff. So also try not to just jump straight down to the ground floor because you'll likely take a lot of damage. And now don't forget we can grab the secret. So try and get behind this tree. It can push you out the way depending on which side you try and go around. And then hop over the gap here. And here is our secret. There we go. Cool, cool. These reeds are pretty annoying. <laughs> it's difficult to get through them. And then a tricky jump over the rocks. There we go. So here is where I will split the level up. So next time we will continue in level one and I hope to see you there. Take it easy.